up YouTube? Your boy Crypto Tone coming at you with another video. So, this guy Tom Lee from the Fundstrat Research Group who has been touting that Bitcoin is going to break through all-time highs all damn year and that he's got research and this, that, and the third. Well, guess what, bud? The end of the year is coming real soon and we still haven't seen them all-time highs. So he actually still thinks that we're going to hit roughly $15,000 by the end of the year because of the fact that that is fair value for Bitcoin. So... I mean, at this point, you know, that would be a really, really, really monstrous move. So I don't really, I, I don't know what he's smoking at this point, to be honest with you. Um, you know, back in, back in the last couple of years, you had all this time to ramp up to go to this level. And now we have had all this time to just continue to keep going down and pretty much do an inverse moon here. Um, so I really, I, I just don't see how that, how this is even possible, what he's talking about at this point. Um, I think we're going to have to have a bit more consolidation and we're going to have to find a bottom, which I believe is going to be somewhere on this, um, you know, on this high here at around $3,000 at this point, you know, because it's already come down and it, it has to find support somewhere. Um, and it's finding support really on this bar. And it's just not sufficient enough. I think it needs to find better support to end this bear market. And once it taps that, um, I think the big wigs know that it's game time once it taps that bad boy. Because then, like I said, you'd be looking at currently we're at an 83.69 correction. Um, if we go ahead and move this down to, let's just say it wicks below it. Like right there, we'd be looking at an 86% um, drawdown if we hit about 2,700, 2,600, which I think is a pretty good mark to end the bear market. Um, so you expect to see a lot of buyers down there, in my opinion, although there are a lot of people that are talking about getting in even lower. But I mean, what's for me, what's the difference at this point? So fun strat research head says fair value is around 14,800. Lee had predicted Bitcoin would be worth 25,000 by the end of the year. It's hard to keep a Bitcoin bull down. Back in May, Thomas Lee, head of research at Fundstrat Global Advisors, was predicting to rally a rally to 25,000 by the end of the year. And despite things not playing quite in his favor, the cryptocurrency is currently trading below 3,400. He's sticking to his guns though. So let's talk about this here. Bitcoin's fair value, given the number of active wallet addresses, usage per account, and factors influence, influencing supply, like mining, is between 13.8 and 14.8. He said in a note on Thursday, his explanation for the divergence include last year's media, meteoric rally, a meltdown in the macroeconomic climate, and treasury sales during initial coin offerings. Well. Mr. Lee, if you're interested, I got some Bitcoin for sale and I'll, I don't know, I'll give you a deal. 10K of Bitcoin, let me know. Fair value is significantly higher than the crypto, the current price of Bitcoin, he wrote. In fact, working backwards to solve for the current price of Bitcoin. This implies crypto wallets should fall to 17 million from 50 million. Okay, makes a decent point there. User adoption and Bitcoin's acceptance as an asset class are the key factors that will drive it higher beyond 2018. If Bitcoin wallets approach just 7% of Visa's 4.5 million account holders, fair value, fair value would be at 150,000 per Bitcoin according to his model. So, I mean, Bitcoin wallets 7%, yeah. The thing is, people are gonna have multiple wallets but also people have multiple visa cards right um so you know i, I it, may, it makes sense it definitely makes a lot of sense and i think that is to come in the future i just don't see how in the next 18 days we could actually go um you know back to that fair value price so he makes a good point there but i think that was a good um a good a good kind of deflection to say like look that's the fair value but i fucked up <laughs> we are tired of people 
asking us about target price, he said, declining to update his year-end forecast. So he's just sick of it. Um, I'm sure he's been getting a, having a lot of issues. Um, you know, yeah. People, I'm sure, aren't happy with him right now. But guys, it, it just seems, it seems like, you know, there are a lot of bulls um, out there that already came out and said, look, we're going to need a little bit more time. We don't know if that's a little bit. We don't know if that's a lot of time. There's a lot of people that have the argument that um, we need another 18 months from this point because that's when the next happening is um, in May 2020. Or um, some people are saying, look, if we mimic the, the previous bear market, we're going to consolidate um, you know, from this point at that bottom. Look at that bottom, guys. In, in, on January 12th, 2015, we had a bottom which we could potentially get, right, guys? We could potentially get that. Um, let's just say it mimics exactly almost the bear market. We get that bottom, then back gets released, and we start ramping up, and then we consolidate for a few months, um, and then we don't pass that, you know, we don't pass this mark until, let's say, you know, November of next year. I, anything is possible at this point. You know, is that exactly what I want to see? No. But as a long-term investor who thinks the technology is going to be you know, a, a, a game changer. I mean, this market's going to turn around, guys. It's going to turn around. It's just a matter of time. Um, you know, and look at this, guys. The weekly RSI. The weekly RSI is at a 29 now, guys. The lowest it's ever been was at around a 27.5. So I would love, love, love for us to see. And it would actually be great if it came on January 15th right, or January 12th here because then it would be exactly the day of the of the, the the previous bear market, and that'd be pretty cool. Um, so I don't know many of these dates coincide here. Um, let me see a break of the 29 now, but I mean they're they're close. They're close for the most part. You know they had the breakdown in the last week of December. Um, you know this was in the looks like it was no more so in the early November. So the dates aren't exact like uh, month wise but um you know again we have to go look at this now because it's the only data that we have and unfortunately a lot of the people that were saying that we're sort of mimicking the last bear market are, are pretty much right they're pretty much right you know and a lot of us didn't want to believe that that was going to happen we thought we were all going to bottom around 6k and then keep ramping up but that it just cut through this line like butter guys just cut through it like butter so let me know in the comments below what you think um, where's Bitcoin going? Is it gonna is it gonna end in January? Is it gonna end in February? Is it gonna end in May? Is it gonna end in 2021? Let me know what you think. Is McAfee gonna be having a cock meat sandwich? Is <laughs> that's really what I want to know. Stotch RSI on the floor. As you can see, guys, every time Stotch RSI is on the floor, it, it, it goes back up. So uh, yeah, I don't know. That's something to look at. Take a look at the RSI again on the weekly here. Um, you know, as you guys could see, it, it bottomed out, came back up, bottomed out, and then ramped back up, and then blah, 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 blah. So I think that something like that is going to happen again. I don't know about you guys. MACD looking like, yeah, not doing what it's supposed to do here. I remember getting excited at this point when it was crossing, and then just, oh, man, really, really ugly. But... The uglier it gets, the better it gets for the future, in my opinion. So I'm sticking to my guns. That's what I'm saying. But Tom Lee definitely sticking to his guns and saying that, uh, you know, it's only a matter of time, basically. It's only a matter of time. And it looks like our, our models uh, need a little more, you know, time. I, I don't know where all these guys get these algorithms and algorithmic data and all this crap. You know, because it's never right. It's, it's, it's just never right. On a good note, Tron looking good, hitting that 200-day moving average right now. So we shall see what happens with that. All right. With that being said, like, subscribe, turn that post notification. Highlights, boy. Peace.